In a time when the aging population is increasing, the healthcare industry has become the emerging hotshot. The traditional emphasis on therapy and rehabilitation is changing towards healthcare management, disease prevention, and home care. According to the analysis conducted by Home Insta Senior Care, the world's largest non-medical home care provider, the market demand for non-medical home care service for elderly people was worth about 25 billion U.S. dollars in 2009 in the United States and 50 to 70 billion dollars in the world, with a double growth expected over the next four years. The healthcare industry value of Taiwan has also increased steadily at 15 percent a year. 我想演技照护呢，跟以前。The idea of telecare is identical to the traditional concept of prevention is better than cure. If we can diagnose and discover conditions earlier, we can receive immediate healthcare services. Therefore, we need to maintain constant contact with hospitals. In practice, this is accomplished with IT system and telemeasuring home measurement system. So, that we go to that door. We began developing BabyBot about seven to eight years ago as the user terminal for telecare. When people use it at home, BabyBot collects all physiological data for healthcare professionals, such as hospitals and physicians who provide follow-up care, so they can diagnose and consult. This way, follow-up healthcare professionals can diagnose the health and medical conditions of the user. In the new real estate construction projects. Far Glory Construction is the representative builder to provide the home health measurement system to the residents. With this system, residents can check their physiological data at home every day. This data may include blood pressure, blood glucose, ECG, level of oxygen in the blood, body weight, body fat percentage, respiration rate, amongst other things. After using the system a while. Many residents believe that this complete measurement system significantly helps them. The baby bot can be tailored to collect different types of data for different users. Finally, this data is integrated into a single platform. Then, follow-up service providers, including hospitals and other relevant healthcare providers, provide services based on this data. As health records are private, how can we manage them for physicians to voluntarily give value-added services for such physiological information stored in this platform? The answer is cloud technology. Therefore, we may say that cloud technology is a very important and revolutionary innovation for telecare. There are endless opportunities in the telecare market. And the increasingly popular cloud data computing and transfer technology has thus become a big niche to Taiwan. In cloud computing, there is a very big component called the cloud data center. Thanks to the ODM and OEM experience over the years, Taiwan has powerful manufacturing and OEM capacity for most hardware components of the cloud data center, such as servers, networks, and hard disk drives. Therefore, we should make use of our manufacturing and R&D advantages in these hardware components to upgrade them and build the entire system, and subsequently engage in turnkey output. With these advantages in cloud computing, we have better chances to go ahead of other countries in the telecare industry and promote our experience and service models to other countries. We build a home. In addition to lighting, TV. Water, electricity, telephone, and internet. Health should be a standard feature of every household before long.